The National Weather Service currently provides the most likely value for snowfall for a given storm. Those most likely values are what appear on our products and services that most people find on the web, for example. But what are the probabilities of other snow amounts besides those most likely snow amounts that we put in our products? This year our experimental snowfall amounts will try to provide some information on those other amounts and how likely they are to occur. We think that by providing that information on the other snowfall amounts will help people make better weather-based decisions. Again, this is experimental, but we want your feedback, and all feedback is welcome. Are the graphics easy to understand? Is this service helping you make decisions? Things like that. We're looking for that feedback. Send it to Dan Baumgart at NOAA.gov. Okay, so on to the graphics. First, this is the probability of snow graphic and is always an average over the entire county. This forecast example here is for Monroe County in western Wisconsin. So, staying on the lower part of the graphic, snowfall amounts are color-coded. These are going to be plotted in the top portion of the graphic and represent the probability to achieve a certain amount of snow. So, as you can see on the bottom here, they range from about a half of an inch all the way up to 18 inches in black. So, moving to the top portion of the graphic now, first the time bar represents six-hour periods with time increasing from left to right. Now we also have this product available for 12 hour periods uh, as well. On the left hand axis is the probability value that is increasing from 0 on the bottom to 100 percent on the top. So your most probable snow amounts will be found toward the top of this graphic and the less likely amounts near the bottom. Another way to think about probability is confidence, or how, confidence, how confident we are that a snowfall amount will be achieved. So on the right side, the confidence increases just like probability from low on the bottom to high up on top. So our most confident forecast and our highest probability forecast is found toward the top portion of this graphic. So let's read this graph for a six-hour time period averaged over Monroe County. From 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Sunday, there is a 98% chance of reaching one half of an inch of snowfall. And I can tell that by the gray bar reaching up to 98% and then the gray color matching the probability to achieve a half inch of snowfall. There is an 85% chance of one inch of snow about a 48% chance of reaching 2%, 2, two inches of snow, which is again the green color, and a 10% chance of reaching 4 inches of snow. It follows that since there's no other colors seen in that bar, that the chance is 0% for reaching snow amounts over 4 inches during the 6-hour time period. So we are most confident in the snow amounts from one half inch to about one and a half inches. As you can see in that red dashed box, that's where we're in the high confidence, higher probability area. And it's unlikely that you'll see over four inches or more across Monroe County from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m.